This video is sponsored by Elmer's. Hi guys, I'm Anna White and I'm here to show you my latest project. It's a large frame with chicken wire in it that you can clip all your Christmas cards to. I love how it turned out. It was really easy to make. Follow along this video and I'll show you how. This project is all 1x2s. You'll just cut two 1x2s that you want the length of your frame. And then you'll nail 1x2s horizontal to create the inner frame. And then the outer frame reinforces the inner frame. You'll just nail and glue an outer frame to the outside. It also leaves a little gap on the back for a chalkboard and your chicken wire. You know, that just gets stapled and glued in place. Super easy. So I cut all of my boards as I always do with a compound miter saw. That gives me nice straight square cuts. And then I just started laying everything out. One thing about this project, it's really large, so you'll need a large, flat, level surface to work off of. And I glue all of my joints because I'm nailing. Now, bear in mind that you could build this project with screws, especially pocket hole screws would be really, really nice. But since all of the joints are reinforced with the outer frame, and I'm using two inch nails here, you can get away with nails. So you'll want two inch nails to get through that inch and a half thick stock into the ends of those horizontal boards. And then just more glue. Now again, glue is super, super important here because the nails are not going to be enough to hold the inner frame together. I've clamped everything um, that just takes any of the variables out when you're nailing. And then this is the this is the middle board. I'm gonna put that one in place. And I've just placed this middle board at the height of my chalkboard. And then again, just clamp it, and then just two little nails on the end. I really like using an 18 gauge nailer um, just because it shoots 5 8 inch nails all the way up to 2 inch nails, and that's about the range that you really need. 5 8 inch is really nice for when you're you know, nailing plywood to the back of something, and then 2 inch is really good for this application here. And so there's the bottom of the inner frame, just attaching that, and I'm going to clamp it all. And more nails. Just two nails per ends is enough. Again, we're going to reinforce all of these joints with the outer frame. So now for the outer frame, I like to measure and cut as I go. So I cut that board to fit. Can you see underneath the inner frame, there's some plywood. That's 3 8 inch plywood. That enables me to elevate my inner frame um, enough so that I can attach. There's a gap behind and in front of between the inner frame and the outer frame. Um, the gap allows me to attach my chalkboard and my chicken wire to the back side. And then I'm using inch and a quarter nails now um, because I won't need as long of a nail here. And just glue and nailing along um, all the way along the top edge. And you can see how that top outer frame board really reinforced the, the whole joints on all the top. And now the sides. Um, so just glue all the way down and this is going to again reinforce the outer frame and really tie everything together. Um, I will say it's very important because of the length of these boards and the size of this project. Make sure you have really straight boards that you're working with because um, the frame won't sit level if you don't. And then just repeating that process with adding inch and a quarter nails all the way down from the outer frame into the inner frame. You'll want to also check for square. That's really easy to do. You just take diagonals, measurements, and make sure that they equal each other. If they don't, you'll push the two longer ends together. Um, so for this stain, I used Rust-Oleum Golden Oak. I love it. It's a really neutral medium brown. It lets the wood grain show through. So the chicken wire, actually in the plans I have it designed for perfectly to fit 24 inch wide chicken wire, um, but my application I wanted it narrower. So um, I just stapled the chicken wire, stretching it to the best of my ability. Um, I'm using half inch staples and just a hand staple gun to attach it. And I just go around and stretch it as I go and then I'm cutting off the excess. It's really nice to be able to use tin snips or you know some sort of wire cutter that is spring loaded to help you cut these so that um, it just makes it a lot faster and easier. And then the chalkboard just gets stapled from back and it's all done. It's that simple. It probably took me um, an hour to build this entire project. 
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you build this project. If you do, please share because I'd love to see how yours turns out as well. And please subscribe for more videos. Thanks again.